Greetings to local delivery from Scroll Engine. Upon accessing our dashboard, a variety of choices will be visible to you. These options encompass order details, shipments, routes, locations, user and permission settings, theme configuration, tracking notifications, delivery apps, API keys, and many more. Now, let's delve into some of the most crucial features individually. To start, within the Order tab, you will have the ability to observe all the orders you have received. Comprehensive information about each order can be found there, as well. Now, let's see more details on Order tab features. Inside the Order page, you can view all of your orders. By default, it will show you last 30 days. You can change, based on your requirement. You can also select date range. You can also add different types of filter. Once done, click the filter button. To save it for future reference, you can save it as a view. You can access in the upper section of the tab. To remove filter, select the tags that need to be removed. There might be some order where you might need to update the delivery location on the map. Either you can request customer by email or you can update manually on the map. Copy the location and insert in the map search box. Select the location and hit on save. To create a shipment, just add a shipment location from the list. You can navigate and modify the table from the bottom. Now that we understand the concept of order management, let's explore how we can establish delivery routes. These routes are essentially designed to ensure the successful delivery of orders to customers. Let's delve into the process. There are two ways to create routes. To begin, navigate to the Shipment tab. Here, you can view the entire shipment list. By default, it will show the last 30 days of shipment. But you can change the duration. You can also use various types of filters. And can alter the list of columns you need to view. Once done, click on the filter. You can also save it as a view for future reference. By default, all the orders with the nearest shipment location have been assigned to the start location. To change the shipment location, click on AWB. Here, you can edit and change your shipment location. You can enable mapping to view your shipment positions. Now, to create a route, select the list of shipments you want to assign to routes. Once done, click on Create Routes. Here you can edit your route name. You can assign your delivery agent. You can also change the shipping location. For final confirmation, you can view and modify your shipments from the Shipment tab. You can also add shipments by searching for them. If you want to see the directions for the shipments, click on Make Directions. If you want your delivery agent to return to the shipping location after delivering the last order, select the end location to loop back or else select the last order. If you don't want to start routes but want to save this selection, you can do it by clicking on Save as Draft. Once done, click on Create Routes. Now the second method is to directly create routes from the Routes page only. Click on Create New Routes. Select the delivery agent and shipping location. On the Shipments tab, Select the orders for that selected shipment. Make sure to click on Make Direction 
to get the estimated delivery time. Finally, click on Create Routes. Your new routes are ready. After the route has been allocated to the delivery agent, you have the ability to monitor their progress. Simply select the active route, and at the upper part of the map, you will spot the delivery agent, represented by a green scooter icon. Now that we've grasped the process of crafting routes and assigning them to delivery agents, the question arises, how can we incorporate delivery agents or even managers into the system? Let's outline the steps for adding users and granting permissions. To view and edit user roles and permissions, go to the user section. Within the user tabs, you can see all of the different users as well as their roles. To add new users, click on Invite People. Add the user's name and email address, followed by the roles that you want to assign to the users. You can add a custom message for the users. Click on the invitation. They will get the email invitation. You can either resend or remove the invitation. Now, to view the roles and their permissions, go to roles and you can view all the different roles and their permissions. You can edit the permission by clicking on the edit permission button. You can view the different permissions a user can have if you assign the roles. And you can add or remove permissions based on your needs. Other than the three default roles of administrator, delivery executive, and manager, you can create custom roles. Click create roles and enter a name for the role as well as an optional description. Finally, add the permissions. You can also delete the roles. With all the necessary configurations in place, the next step is to integrate the plugin into your cart page. This will enable customers to choose their preferred delivery date and time. Let's now explore the procedure for incorporating these features seamlessly. To add the plugin to your app, just click on Customize. Here, first add any product to your cart page. Once done, go to the cart page. Here, select the area where you want to insert the plugin. Once done, on the left hand side, click on Add Block. Now select the local delivery app. Here, you can completely customize what things you want on your cart page. For example, you can disable the standard shipping option on your cart page. You can also change the theme setting so that it matches your background theme. Once done, finally click on Save. Now, when you preview the theme and go to the cart page, the customer can see the options that you have selected on the plugin. Now, if you add any particular zip code, the service will not be available. To add a zip code to the dashboard, go to the location. Select any location and click on Rules. Here, click on Add Rules and select Zip followed by Contains. Now add multiple zip codes. Once you have added a zip code, click on Save. Now again, if you go to the car page and enter the same zip code, you can see the services available. Now, if you want to enable the calendar, select a time slot. Go to the dashboard and click on Theme Configuration. Here you can enable calendar, time slot, or even zip code searches. You can add the same feature for store pickup as well. Even the text and the entire thing are configurable. You can also add working hours and time slots. 
Just go to the location and go to the working rules section. You can add multiple time slots during the day by selecting the time of your store's timing and clicking on a slot, followed by saving all you can. Furthermore, there's an option to include interval time slots of either 30 minutes or one hour. Additionally, within the advanced settings, you can incorporate preparation time and designate blackout or holiday dates. This prevents customers from selecting these dates for their delivery.